Mowing, the primary cultural practice. More time and money is spent on mowing than any other cultural practice. And this is the most important cultural practice when it comes to a successful turf grass stand. So we're gonna cover three tips today in relation to mowing. These tips are first, never cut more than one third of the grass blade in a single mowing. Secondly, raise your mowing height and increase your mowing frequency. And finally, mulch your grass clippings. Tip one, never mow more than one third of the grass blade in a single mowing. Very simply put, the one third rule. So mowing more than one third of the grass blade or violating this one third rule is gonna cause a number of detrimental effects. The most noticeable being scalping the brown appearance you see after, after mowing more than one third of the grass blade. Other detrimental effects are gonna include depletion of carbohydrates. The turf grass stores its nutrients above ground in the green lush growth you see. So when you mow that off, you rob the plant of its nutrients. It's also gonna decrease rooting depth. It's gonna shock the plant, making it more susceptible to environmental stresses, drought stress, heat stress, and then this is only further amplified by root feeding insects, which even further compromises the rooting and stress tolerance of the plant. So as we talk specifically about the one-third rule, we're gonna take a look down at this research plot here at the Lewis Brown uh, Horticulture Farm at Oregon State University. We see a number of different mowing heights here. The grass here in front of me is maintained at a two-inch mowing height. The grass here that I'm standing on is maintained at a half-inch mowing height. And these are the extreme ranges for perennial ryegrass. And if I were to suggest a, a preferred mowing height, as we'll talk about later, higher is better in my opinion. And as you look at these different heights, the two inch grass here is gonna have to be mowed once a week to keep it within that one third rule, never mowing more than one third of the grass blade in a single mowing. The grass here that I'm standing on that's maintained at a half of an inch, it's gonna require very frequent mowing maybe two or three times a week to prevent it from scalping off or mowing more than one third of the grass blade in a single mowing. Tip two in relation to successful mowing is raising your mowing height and increasing your mowing frequency. Raising your mowing height is directly correlated to deeper rooting. The higher the grass is mowed, the deeper the plant roots into the ground. This is illustrated very well with these two samples. The sample on the left here is maintained at a two inch height and you can see very deep roots down to about a four inch depth into the soil. And then if we compare that to this sample on the right here which is maintained at a tenth of an inch you see rooting depth down to only about an inch and a half into the soil. Not only will mo increasing your mowing height increase your rooting depth but it also decrease weed encroachment. So weed seeds fly in from all over the place, existing or surrounding areas such as uh, ag fields, uh, unmaintained areas where the weeds are high in populations. The weed seeds float in and they land on the turf grass. And the weeds then make it down through the uh, grass to the soil surface, building the weed seed bank. And in the low mode grass, where the weeds make it down to the soil surface, sunlight can then penetrate down through the turf canopy, germinating the weeds, allowing them to establish. And then as you mow, move over into higher maintained grass, the grass catches the sunlight as it comes down, uses it for carbohydrate production and prevents the weed seeds from germinating that are down at the soil, soil surface there at the bottom of the turf grass canopy. So as we take a close look at these two different mowing heights, we see a lot of annual bluegrass encroachment here at the low maintained mowing height. And then as we move over here to the higher maintained mowing height, we see much less annual bluegrass encroachment. And again, that's a direct correlation to the mowing height. The higher height being correlated to the less annual bluegrass encroachment. So the two dominant grasses in the state of Oregon and Washington are going to be perennial ryegrass along the coast and Kentucky bluegrass as you move inland across the mountains. Both of these grasses are going to do very well at a three inch mowing height. As you take this mowing height down lower 
approaching an inch or lower than that, you start to get more and more weed encroachment as well as more and more stress, environmental stresses that the grasses cannot uh, uh, grow out of. So the second half of tip two is increasing your mowing frequency. And to illustrate this point, we're going to use the example of the highway roadside. So the highway is maintained at a very low mowing height, probably once a month. And it's some of the worst turf you see across the state. This time of year, it becomes very brown, very thin, tons of weeds in there, and it's all related to the low mowing height and the low mowing frequency. You need to increase your mowing height and increase your frequency. And the height is also relative to the frequency. If we go back down to this grass here, we see the higher maintained grass at two inches, needing about uh, average mowing of once a week to maintain it at that height, but not violate the one third rule. This is gonna provide a very healthy grass stand that tolerates a lot of environmental stresses and is resistant to weed seed encroachment. Then as we move over to the lower cut grass, because of the low mowing height, this grass is gonna require very frequent mowing as much as three times a week to prevent you from scalping the grass when it's maintained at this height. Again, if we go back to the grasses used in Washington and Oregon, the dominant grasses are perennial ryegrass on the coast and then Kentucky bluegrass as you move inland. And again, these grasses should be maintained, in my opinion, around a three inch height. The higher the height you go, the more stress environmental tolerances you're gonna have from the grass. So weed encroachment associated with a low mowing height include annual bluegrass, common dandelion, and crabgrass. So tip three for successful mowing is mulching your grass clippings. By removing the bag from your mower, and using mulching blades like this double set of blades here, we can return as much as two pounds of nitrogen per year into the turf grass stand, which is a considerable amount of fertilizer when we're trying to achieve annual rates of three to five pounds of nitrogen, which are suggested for Kentucky bluegrass and perennial ryegrass. So by adhering to the one-third rule, Using a mulching blade like this, we can easily return a significant amount of organic fertilizer with the grass clippings to the soil. This area here illustrates the importance of the one-third rule increasing your mowing height and increasing your mowing frequency in relation to mulching your clippings back into the turf grass stand. Here, while the mowing height may be adequate, right around three inches, the frequency is not. Therefore, we see these large windrows accumulating on the surface here. <clears throat> these windrows of grass clippings can smother the turf if they accumulate too much and are very unsightly for high performance turf grass situations like athletic fields or golf courses. And as you look across the surface here, you see a large number of broadleaf weeds encroaching into the site. And this is probably associated with the frequent scalping. The grass is not being mowed frequently enough, so when it is mowed, it's scalping the turf, opening the canopy, allowing sunlight to penetrate down to the weed seed bank. Mm -hmm.